So now what we're going to do is we're going to work into cooking more than just one or two pies and, and show the way you would, you would load this oven to get a rotation going. Um, I've got one pie in the oven now. I'm going to go ahead and stick another one in there. One thing you want to do before you ever put a pie in the oven is make sure it's moving on the peel. You don't want to dump all that on the floor of the oven. Back in it goes. I've got the flame pretty low still. Uh, this is a little bit above what we would call a holding flame, uh, but because the pies are so close, uh, I don't need the flame up so high. But I've got a couple more pies to go in, so I am going to bump it up a little so that the next pies I put in get some nice spring as well. Just lining them up. So I'm going to be moving these pies toward the flame and finishing them right by the flame. And they'll just bake on their way back. So I see a bubble back there I'm going to take care of. That one was getting a little out of control. That's something that usually happens within the first couple minutes of baking. You can take care of that. You can see the side of the pizza that was facing the fire is getting nice and brown. Giving it about a, a third of a turn. Just going to snuggle everything in a little, little closer. So if we needed to load some more pizza in there, we could. I have this rotation set up two pizzas wide. This oven is actually wide enough if you wanted to. You could have a three pizza wide rotation with this uh, 11, 12 inch kind of pie. You'd be, getting, you'd be getting a little tight, but that would give you the option of, you know, the ability to produce six pies out of here every four minutes. You just want to keep rotating. You're very close to that flame, so things are going to happen fast. Sometimes it helps to get one out of the way if you need to get to another one. We're going to take this one just the rest of the way. That one's looking good. You can always check the bottoms, see how they're doing. All right, these front pies are finishing right up. They are looking great. That one's done. I'd say this one needs another 30 seconds. That one's almost there. I'll go ahead and get this next one in the rotation. Now we're always moving forward. Now we've got room to put two or three more pies. It's a beautiful pie. So here's our last pie. Uh, when you're done, when you have a break and there are no pizzas in the oven, it's good to turn that flame back down to a, a holding flame, which on this 4355 is right around three. So these pies are cooking in a side flame 4836. The same strategy applies. I'm finishing near the flame and I'm loading the fresh pies in in the next row. As you can see, this oven has a little less capacity than the uh, 4355. So now that I've got that second row of pies in, I'm going to go ahead and bump up the flame just a little bit. Doesn't make sense to run your oven the same when you have two pies as when you have four or six pies. You're going to need a little more heat input to keep it rolling. All right, that pie is looking good in the back. We're going to pull these. They are nicely done. And I'm going to just rotate these up and I could put two new ones where those were. What I'm going to do, uh, this, this oven, all of our ovens, are a little cooler around the doorway. All stone hearth ovens in general. So I'm going to do a front to back, back to front as well, just to even things out as much as possible. Those pies will just finish off right like that very nicely. This one might need a little more of a turn. That's just a judgment call on the operator's point. Before you, before you pull that pie out of there, you want to make sure it looks just like you want it to. So that pie looks great on the, on the top. That's how you're judging it. You also want to check the bottoms just to make sure you're getting the same bottom cook you want. You can do that with the peel just by a quick little lift. 
you don't want to hold it up there so long that the cheese and toppings start to run off. But those are looking beautiful on the bottom as well. So out they go. The oven's empty. I'm going to turn that flame down so I don't overheat it. I've just turned the flame down just, just a bit, just under three. 